Okay, last, last, you. And I'm bad like this. Striking force. Okay, striking force. Uh -huh. Ah, no. Okay, last, last. Let me go, Hansen. Okay, striking force. Uh -huh. Striking force. Uh -huh. Let me go. Ah, no, bro. Group one, bro. Let's do it. That's the last, you. Ah. 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 Keep as well. Emma, Emma, I just reject the weekend, Bale. Nibuku, Ibuku, Apa Ibuku, Maya Ibuku ni, ni saya kau amam ni, apa malam? Lala, apa kau sade? Kau belum nanti tu, last last. Mungkin mau apa? Mau apa fadi ni? Oh ya, lala striking force, strike force ha, kau. Mula mula kau sade, ayat tu kau ni hebu, ayat tu kau ni hebu la bola. I didn't know, 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 I didn't know. Dear friends all over the world and lovers of freedom, you're welcome once again. We are still on the same matter. Ebu Bago must go. You see, the video you just watched is what is happening in Anambra State. Ibuku to be precise. I'm not going to give further details about the incident or the video itself but I just want to talk to our people briefly because I want this very news to be very very short. Now this so-called Anambra Strike Force is the organization that Chuku Masoludo set up with the Agboro people that he removed from OP worker. You saw the video a few months ago when they gathered themselves, they gave them pump action, they called them Anambra Strike Force. Now, I want to tell our people something very, very important before the end of this broadcast. You see, if you are working for the politicians in our land who are well known for Lani stooges, all these evil governors, politicians, and those who are aspiring to become politicians, it you know the system has made it very, very clear that if you are not a Fulani stooge, you can never be anything politically, you can never be relevant politically in Igbo land. In Igbo land, it's not like that in Yoruba land. The only person who become Fulani stooge in Yoruba land is our Basanjo because our Basanjo was desperate to become president. The same thing goes to Tinubu. Tinubu has become the Fulani, uh, you know, uh, a stooge because he is so desperate to become the president. But you see, there are local politicians like governors, state of, uh, uh, you know, state, uh, their state of assembly and all that. These people has no business with Fulani. They are loyal to their political fathers in Yoruba land not like Igbo people. The Igbo people, they are loyal to their full and political, you know, uh, masters. That is the difference. Though even the local politicians here, the small, small ones, they are loyal to their full and political masters in Sokoto and Abuja. So, all of you working for politicians, thinking that you now you have the backing of the politicians or the governor and therefore you must use whatever the stick that you have at hand to kill innocent people in our land woe unto you and look if any of you going after whichever group whichever group that i can i don't want to mention any name any of you working for the politicians in our land and because you are you have pump action you are going after any group that has nothing to do with you you will just woe, woe unto you just forget about your your life 
call your family members and tell them where you keep your money just call them and tell them where you keep your money so that in case you do not return they should go there and collect your money and the family moves on are you getting it because you are a coward you are a fool you want to kill your brother you want to stop what others are doing because you are working for the politician because you are working for soludo who doesn't care about your li- your life why is his son in america doing music you you are there carrying a, a pump passion fighting your fellow Igbo man who is even fighting for your future shame unto you shame shame unto all of you that is a big shame against our race look at what is happening in, in Imo state today a bubago that was brought to Imo state through the help of Achiku Denwa I have said it time without number Achiku Denwa was a former Oye bunker in, in, in a place they call Potakot known as Igocha he used his influence to recruit you know all these foreign machina, machinaries brought them to our land today these same people are the people killing innocent Igbo youth because they are not Igbo and do you know the worst part of it they made Igbo people out of greed out of greed out of love for money they made Igbo people their commanders in their various locations units and camps they made Igbos their commanders Igbos are the ones collecting money from Hopos or Demma to settle them on a weekly basis are you getting it now so now what they did is that they after making the Igbos their commanders they are now using these foreigners to massacre innocent Igbo youths look at what happened in our mama that the youths are protesting up to today since on Monday till today they are still protesting are you getting me now so imagine our people in anambra state even after this thing that happened in anambra state they still have heart to carry a pump action looking for whom to shoot in the name of vigilante group in the name of working for hope uh, you know just soludo that is unbelievable how is the mighty fallen when uh when when should when should our people come together and learn when should our people come together and know that the only thing that can save us in nigeria is freedom that our collective effort should be channeled into getting freedom into getting biafra because as long as the zoo is concerned we are doomed we are going nowhere I'm telling you, we go nowhere and there is nothing anybody can do to change it. The, the, the system has been designed. You cannot change it. Not even through the change of constitution, nor, the, nor bringing in a Yoruba man as the president. A Yoruba man has been there before. Or Basanjo was the president. Or uh, uh, what about Jonathan Goodluck? A Biafran has been the president before. What did they do? They gave him Boko Haram. In order to destroy his administration, the Fulanis formed Boko Haram in order to destroy him. They chased him away and brought back a Fulani man. Since the you know the so-called independent Nigeria, Fulani has been ruling you. What can you do? So P2B is not the answer. If you think that P2B has what it takes to change the minds of these people, the, their mindset is to fulanize Nigeria and Islamize Nigeria. So if you think that P2B has what it takes to change this this very you know mentality of the caliphate, then you are joking. The only solution is total disintegration let everybody be on their own you be on your own i'll be on my own we'll be good neighbors if you need my help if you need my oil i supply you my oil if i need your your nama your cow i pay for it you bring me your cow and you go back to your home so if you want to live in my home then you 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 get your resident permit that is how it is it is not by force to be together it is not by force. Our people, Igbo people have buildings in Benin Republic. Igbo people have houses in South Africa. Why wouldn't you say, eh, because I have properties in South Africa, therefore there must be Nigeria? No. 
Igbo people have properties everywhere in the world, including in London, America. We have properties everywhere. So why wouldn't you say because Igbos have invested in America, therefore America will become part of Nigeria? No, it is not like that. Among Kumbahu, we are log. So those of you working for these evil politicians in our land, get ready because this very land will be impregnable for all of you. Thank you, my people. To Salon Mozia and make it go viral.